Welcome to zip9.com. Uh, in this video, itutuloy natin yung ating series on how to solve motion problems, no? And um, dito sa problem na ito ay magsasolve tayo ng distance between uh, two trains, ano? Traveling in the same direction. So let's read our problem. A freight train and a passenger train left the same station and traveled to the same direction. The passenger train travels at an average speed of 80 km per hour while the freight train travels at an average speed of 65 km per hour. In how many hours will they be 75 km apart? So, ang una assumption natin dito is that the trains left the same station at the same time. No? So, wala naman siya sinabing na una yung isa. No? So, yan yung isa sa mga assumptions natin. And of course, ang isa dito na pinaka-obvious ay mas mabilis yung ating passenger train dahil nagka-travel siya ng uh, 80 km per hour. And at the same time, yung ating uh, freight train is 65 kilometers per hour, no? So as, uh, kung muna panood yung mga previous videos natin, mas madaling isolve ang motion problems using table, no? So ngayon, gagamit ulit tayo ng table para isolve tong problem na to. So distance traveled after. 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours, 4 hours, 5 hours, 6 hours. Sana hindi tayo abot na 7 hours, no? So, meron tayong passenger train, yung mas mabilis na train natin. And then, meron tayong freight train, no? So, yung passenger train natin, ang, ang rate niya or yung speed is 80 kilometers per hour. So, after 1 hour, no? distance traveled after 1 hour is 80. And then, after 2 hours, syempre, 160 siya, no? Kasi 80 per hour nga siya. This is, of course, uh, 240. Oh, nakikita nyo na siya yung pattern, no? Add lang ng 80. This is 320, this is 400, and this is 480. Yung uh, freight train natin, after 1 hour is 65, no? Syempre, after another hour is 130. And again, of course, uh, madali naman makikita yung pattern. Talang mag-add lang naman tayo ng 65, no? So, this is 195 plus 65. This is 260 plus 65. This is 325 plus 65. This is 390. So, kung mapansin ninyo yung tinatawang natin, kailan sila 75 kilometers apart, no? No? In how many kilometers will they be 75 kilometers? Oh, this is supposed to be apart, no? Hmm. Apart. So, yung distance nila in between, no? So, para makuha natin yung distance in between, syempre, minus natin yung distance traveled by the, the passenger train minus the distance traveled by the freight train. So, this time, after one hour, on distance nila in between, is uh, 15 and then this is 30 no this is 5 this is 23 minus 9 is 4 well makikita nyo na no by 15 so okay din na tayo minus dito malalaman natin by adding 15 here this is 60 this is 75 and this is plus 15 is 90 no? kasi para naman silang linear no? so kung mapapansin ninyo 5 hours, no? Ang hinanap natin is 75, di ba? So, 5 hours siya. Ang sagot nun sa problem natin ay 5 hours. Ibig sabihin, after 5 hours, 75 kilometers apart na sila. No? Pwede rin natin to isolve algebraically, no? Tanggalin natin para mas malinis. So, using algebra, uh, maganda kung i-plot ulit natin na yung table, no? Distance, rate, and time, no? This is uh, the passenger train and this is the freight train. So, kung napanood din yung mga previous videos, ganito tayo palagi mag-solve ng uh, motion problems para madali, no? So, ang pinaka-obvious the, are the rates. 
80 kilometers per hour for the passenger train and 65 kilometers per hour for the freight train. Yung time nila pareho, ne? Dahil, um, sorry, na japanese ako, ne? It's Japanese, no? Um, whatever the, the time of the passenger train is also the time of the the freight train, no? Kasi sabay silang umalis, no? Sa station. So, kung nakapag-travel na ng 5 hours yung freight train, nakapag-travel din ng 5 hours yung passenger train. Mas mabilis nga lang yung, yung, yung passenger train. Pero yung time nila na travel uh, or the amount of time traveled na nakapag-travel sila is the same, no? I mean, are the same. So, if we let X be the time of the passenger train, X is also the time of the freight train. El pareho naman sila. So, the distance is the, tra the product of the rate and the time. So, multiply lang natin ito, no? To get the distance. So, distance is 80x. And this distance is 65x. Again, katulad nung ginawa natin sa table, minayinus lang natin yung distance nung uh, mas mabilis na train kaysa sa, then sa distance nung mas, mas uh, mabagal na train, ano? So, uh, 80x, no? Minus uh, 65x, no? Kailan sila? 75, no? 75 kilometers. The distance traveled by the passenger train minus the distance traveled by the freight train is actually the distance in between. Now, ngayon, kailan yung distance in between equal to 75 uh, kilometers? So, minus lang natin, 15x equals to 75, and x is equal to 75 over 15, which means that x is equal to 5. Ano unit ng 5? This is hours, no? So, hinahanap kasi natin how many hours will they be uh, uh, 75 kilometers apart. Okay, so yung 5 hours dito, kung makikita ninyo, same siya dito sa answer natin na gumamit tayo ng table. Okay, so maraming salamat and I hope meron kayo natutunan dito sa video na ito. See you in the next tutorial.